What's up America? This is Kim and Neil with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do how to CCW belt edition. One of our most popular videos is our CCW holster edition where we talk about all the different holsters. And the one thing we say in that, and we always say, I don't care how much money you spend on a holster and how well made it is or isn't, it isn't really going to make any difference unless it's mounted to a solid foundation. And that is your belt. Critically important for CCW. So let's get started. <laughs> So on the table here, you're going to see in a moment, we have a wide variety of belts, different styles and makes. And you can tell that they are really well used. So we've, we've te tested these quite a bit. So definitely have held up well. <laughs> yes, they have. Uh, everything from nylon to leather and hybrids in between. So let's take a look here. To start off with, we have a nylon belt. Now, one key element to all these belts is they have to have some type of core, something inside them other than just the material, for the exception of a very thick, heavy leather belt. Okay. And to give you a little background on that, if you have a very thick belt one, you have to run through loops depending whether they're dress pants. I know that personally I've had a lot of trouble uh, with dress pants and heavier gun belts not fitting, especially once you uh, go through the buckle and you have that second piece trying to get that under a loop. There's, there's two thicknesses of a belt. It's almost impossible. Uh, so that thinness uh, will... Especially thickness. when you're a girl because the girl's... Their belts are not as big, so whenever Absolutely. you know, the thinner the better. <laughs> For sure, uh, you're also going to see a lot of uh, a lot of holster manufacturers that uh, make different size belt loops, like one and a quarter, uh, one and a half. Um, you know, I, I I just I usually tend to the stay the smaller size again for that reason because typically on the pants you're going to be wearing, they're not always going to be tactical. Uh, this particular guy right here, this is uh, an instructor belt that I use a lot. This is a Black Hawk. Um, Again, it's a nylon belt, and it has a Velcro closure, which we'll talk about in a second. But again, with this guy, it has a core. There is no way that you can you can bend that. Um, if you can take your if the two ends and you can touch those together by force with your hands, that is that's I don't care what holster you put on there, it's going to really be a terrible setup. Okay. Now, uh, for this guy, we have a uh, a nylon closure here. And one thing I do like positive about nylon is that I can make any adjustment I want. So if that's too much, I can just go just a little bit and attach it again. Where if I if I have belt loops, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, buckle holes, right? You're going to have to fit one of those. Mm -hmm. And what's the rule of thumb on that? Tighter or looser? Tighter. Always, Always go tighter. tighter. Um, so that's actually a really nice thing for comfort. And I realize, mm -hmm. Kim, you're going to run around all day in a dress with your nylon belt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not going to happen, right? <laughs> So nylon is not going to be for everybody, mm -hmm. but this is a viable option. Uh, very affordable, extremely tough and durable. Oh, yeah. Okay, and this is made by Blackhawk. What else you got? Another basic. This is a, a leather gun belt with a core, and this one's from Alien Gear. I think they call them Bigfoot gun belts, though. This one we had forever, um, but it's very thick, like Neil was saying. So that could be a little difficult for women and. And even guys, you know, sure. sometimes if you're not wearing tactical pants or... And just as a, hopefully the camera picks it up, this thing is well worn. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I wear this thing uh, every day for a year at least. Uh, and then I try to alternate stuff because I'm always testing out different things now. But this is, this is one of my uh, one of my favorite belts. But anyway, I'm sorry, go ahead. Some features about this belt is it has a roller buckle and it's made of nickel. So it makes it really smooth when you're putting it off and on. It also has... Um, snaps here in the back so if you wanted to if this wore out or you wanted to get a new one you could change it out so it, it's really something that if you bought it it's going to last you yeah and i think they, they may even make different like a black one i don't i haven't been on the site yeah. in a while I, 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 it's bigfoot belts uh, is where you get them now but uh very very nice our next guy here this is a uh this is called the super bio gun belt and links for all the companies for all these belts will be down here uh this is one of those deals where if you're against leather, you can get this belt. It's a synthetic material that's very, very strong. I could care less on leather, whether it's leather or not. I just want a belt that works. Uh, but if that's your thing, uh, it's a super bio gun belt, and it is uh, made in America. It's a very thin in comparison to some of the heavier, thicker, you know, pure leather belts. So you get the stronger material that's lighter weight, thinner, but looks much like leather. This one actually has kind of that uh, blacked out um, buckle on it, so kind of cool. Uh, this one also has, they're not snaps, but they are, they're screws, and you could unscrew that uh, and, and change this out, I imagine, if you ever broke one, which would be 
I, I don't know. You, you'd have to... If you got scratched up, like you can see this yeah. little scratches. So if you wanted to Absolutely. switch it out or something. And even though uh, here's another example, this has been worn a lot, a lot, lot, lot. When I compare it to like a leather belt that I wear a lot, you can see how the, the leather kind of breaks in. Uh, not that that's a big deal, but you can see how much more resilient the material is. It's it's like it was like brand new, like it's never been worn. Uh, again, it's got the same type of roller buckle on here. Uh, really nice belt, uh, very, very sturdy. There is no core in here. There's nothing added in here because it doesn't need to be. The material itself is strong enough that, again, you cannot, you cannot uh, bend that in. And that's a really good foundation for a, a nice holster mm -hmm. on there. Oh, and one other thing you'll, you guys will notice too. Big deal when I was talking about how, this, how the, the, the gun hole, the, uh, I'm sorry, the buckle holes are. If you notice, compared to these two, okay, there's a, there's a lot more of them and much closer together. Again, huge deal, guys. When you are putting on a belt, and like mm -hmm. we said, it's going to be tighter than looser. It's really nice to be able to have smaller adjustments than larger ones. Do oh, you agree yeah. with that? Especially like you might have different holsters you wear Absolutely. or different um, guns. And so you want to be able to adjust it really easily and fit each one. And your gear is going to run different as well. Like maybe you're really uh, you're, you're in somewhere where you really want to be deeply concealed and you're wearing a very thin gun. Uh, or maybe you're in an area where you're at higher risk and you're carrying more stuff. And maybe you have a, a mm -hmm. mag, a, you know, a, a mag pouch on you plus a gun. Uh, so this is going to be maybe your holsters inside the waistband, outside the waistband. Mm -hmm. If that's foreign to you, we got videos on that. Uh, but a big deal for adjustment. Next, we have the thirty-dollar gun belt. How much does it cost? Thirty dollars, <laughs> which is really a smart idea because uh, it's it, comparably to a lot of other gun belts, leather ones. It's it's a really good price, and unlike the other ones, it actually doesn't have a core because the leather itself is so thick. Mm -hmm. So, and we were really impressed because we were like, $30 gun belt, like, how could this, you know, is it going to hold up? Is it, is it really as, as tough as they say? And it, it's actually really nice. Yeah. We've been impressed with how well it's done. It's got the close holes, just like the other belt. So yeah. you got a lot more adjustments there. The only thing I would say on this belt, and it, it doesn't matter, but uh, the, just because it's just, it's a, whatever type of leather they use, not that it's bad or anything, but leather itself, you're going to see, uh, we'll do some close-ups on it. Uh, but it's a little bit more beat up. It shows every time, yeah. if, like if you scratched it or, uh, with a seat belt or you rubbed against the concrete wall or something, it's going to show a little bit more wear on it than, say, some of the, the, the hybrid uh, or synthetic materials or some of the others that we're going to talk about. Uh, but again, it's really, really nice. I mean, the thing is, it's like a. For the price, I think the quality yeah. you get. Absolutely. Really I good. Agree. The last brand we're going to talk about is the Core Track Line. It's kind of a new kind of new to the to the game which i love my core this is the one i actually use every day a lot of women ask me you know what do i use because those other gun belts are so thick it's hard to you know find jeans that even work with them and and then if you're talking about dress pants or other things the, the belt loops are really small so i love this core and i've had it for two years now mm -hmm. and it's really i mean you can tell it's it's held up really nice we'll show some close-ups of it but um, the the only thing I've ever had go wrong was one of the screws fell out. And it was from a prototype one. And they sent me a new buckle right away. So I've been really happy, impressed. This is what I use every day for two years. Absolutely. And just as a comparison, so you guys can see, this is just a traditional leather belt versus uh, the core leather belt. And we'll talk about that in a second. But you can see how th the thickness difference is. Oh, yeah. How much thinner this is. And why, why is it so thin and still work? It's so thin because it has a nice plastic core in there that, that keeps it solid. Um, we actually have one that... Oh, another really cool thing about it is core, you actually just you just buy a belt and it you can adjust the size, which is really neat. So it comes really long and then you cut it to the size you want and then you can exchange the buckles out you can switch it out for different buckles so this is literally what it looks like when it comes to you just so you guys are aware yeah so, so just a long piece and you that's right and then there's teeth on here okay yeah real simple i'm just gonna put this on real quick but basically you're going to there's going to be measurements in here you cut it to where you want it to be you're going to run that piece that you cut into the buckle end like that and then you're going to take this and you're just going to clamp it down some of you may need some pliers uh, but once it's in there, that's not coming off. And then you want to show them the best part of this deal. Yes, you, you'll get addicted to this. You just it it makes these little tiny itty bitty adjustments, which is awesome because, like Neil was saying earlier, you want it to be as tight as possible. And then if you're switching gear around, or you know, sometimes you're just wearing different pants, especially women. You might wear 
some higher ones, some lower ones, some mid ones. So this is really nice because you can adjust it Absolutely. to be as tight as you need it to be. And I find that I adjust this like constantly. So in other words, I'll keep this nice and tight on my body when I'm walking around to keep the gun very close. And let's say I'm going to sit down for, for a meal. Or Thanksgiving. We- <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't even just mean because you're eating a lot. Just because you're going to sit down now and you're kind of compressed, I'll just let a couple clicks out just to loosen it up. Everything stays where I where I want it to. And then before I get up, I just click it in a couple of times and I'm right back uh, where it is. So the, I, I find that I make adjustments with this a lot. And by the way, okay, I'm I'm wearing that same core belt now. Um, you want to show them the different Yeah, finish? so they, have, they do have a different one that says uh, like a kind of like a nylon, you would say, from the outside. Or, yeah, it's like it's, a fabric. It's thicker. It's uh-huh. thicker than the, the leather. So, you know, if that's more your your style and that's right. what you want. So it is a little bit thicker and hardier than that. And it comes in this like tan desert color and then black, and black. too. And the buckles are interchangeable. I mean, we have three different ones, I believe. This is kind of yeah. just a totally smooth flat. Because again, there's no holes. That's kind of got some design on it. Mine is kind of looking more like a traditional type of buckle deal there. Um, and then you, you get a good you get a good view on this side. Those are the that's the the track line. That's the thing that it actually ratchets it. Click 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 click. And then there's a release on the on the buckle just itself. Like the, just like the other the leather one. Okay. You hear it clicking into place. Right. And if you guys are going to do something, you know you're going to go somewhere nice or whatever this does not scream gun belt nobody would look at this and say hey that's definitely uh you know as as opposed to wearing a you know a nylon instructor belt right uh, or even like the bigfoot one and that it's a super thick leather belt <laughs> right so you're getting that really thin you still get the core and it looks very nice so definitely a, an option with uh a, a lot of different uh, ways to customize it we showed you guys some different options for gun belts and i think it's a question that especially with new people they're not um or people who haven't really done training where they practice drawing they don't realize how important it is and it really makes a big difference before i bought a gun belt i just had like a regular leather belt and i went through so many because i kept breaking them so it's definitely something to invest in because they're they're things like my core I've had for over two years and I like we said with the leather ones you can really hang on to them but invest in it because you will make a big difference in how comfortable you are carrying because if you're not comfortable you're not going to carry so yeah and get the most out of your holster I mean, yeah. you're going to spend I, I've seen people spend eighty dollars on a holster and they're running around with a twenty nine dollar belt and I'm not oh, talking yeah. about the thirty dollar gun belt I mean it's not a gun belt just a regular fashion belt and the guns flopping around we'll roll in some B footage here I'll show you the difference. Just even with a good gun belt, a properly tightened and not tightened, and you'll see the difference in how this, how the gun. So you'll see here how it's moving around more in my waist versus when it's nice and tightened. And we see it, especially in classes when people don't have a nice belt, their their holsters moving around. And it's really hard for them to really draw right and correctly. We hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like it, share it, give us a thumbs up. If there's a special brand that you guys really like and we didn't mention it, put it in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. Uh, Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that little bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can also find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Oh, and of course, we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, remember, it's it's always always better better to be judged judged by 12 12 than carried by 6.